Uh, it is uh, March 7, 2000, 2023. And uh, today in uh, Israel is it uh, Purim. And um, I was there in uh, in the Israel uh, in Purim time. I didn't know it was. It was that I heard from heaven that I should t- to travel to uh, Israel. That's what I was hearing from heaven and I obey it and uh, I I be shocked when I come there because I didn't know about Purim I, I have never heard it uh, it was because of uh, God and heaven have told me to to visit Israel in that time and, and I understand it today that they wanted to show me uh, Purim what's going on and uh, I was in Tel Aviv I was at the hotel in Tel Aviv and, and Tel Aviv in uh, for like uh, 10 years ago or in like when I was there Tel Aviv was uh, the rebellious city uh, but uh, today I saw it when I was in is in Jerusalem I was in Jerusalem when I was in Tel Aviv uh, uh, so I saw how what was going on in Jerusalem and and today uh, now when I have been to Jerusalem to 2023 um, do, do, do I, did I see how it have changed very much uh, in Israel Tel Aviv was before the party city and there is, uh, that's the bank city, money, the golden calf city was there and much homosexual uh, going on and this kind. So um, I wanted to be in Jerusalem, but uh, it was too expensive for me to stay there and I was not told to where to go but I think it was the right city I should be in and um, I come to to uh, Tel Aviv uh, just uh, just the, uh, when the Purim should st- started and it started um, this March 6 and going on t- un- until uh, March 7 so it's two days and um, and the Purim uh, that I have been taught about Purim when I come back to to Sweden uh, have been uh, I was only one week I think in, in Tel Aviv and uh, it was all just only to see the the Purim and uh, I was shocked when I see how how drunk the Jewish people was uh, I was walking around in Tel Aviv because my I was okay in my brain in that time and uh, I come to a square in Tel Aviv uh, where it was something going on it was music it was 
happy people, even if they were this uh, orthodox Jewish with uh, black clothes and uh, uh, with their hats and uh, this long hair on the side, uh, curly. Uh, curly uh, hair. <laughs> I know it's uh, people have straight hair also, you wish, but maybe they curl it to be that way. They don't want it to be it's like a stripe down. And, uh, and I was sitting there and look at the feast and it was total crazy and that they were rolling around on on the floor or in the square there in, on the ground uh, in the ground they were and jumping uh, and then of course that dancing and it was so shocked for me that i thought uh, you wish didn't drink alcoholic but that that is gone for a long time now because i i was going to it was in that time i was drinking and uh, alcoholic and uh, i was to the store and bought me you wish wine that is uh, now I don't remember what what it's called, but that where the it's prayed over that it should be keel, uh, clean from the devil, and uh, I I bought it and took a glass and. I realized it was much alcoholic in that wine I was drinking and I'd be surprised. I thought the wine should, that special wine for the Jewish people that they drink in a Sabbath, every Sabbath the, the man of the house or rabbi, there is many rabbis. Uh, they they talking first and then they drink a glass of of this wine with lots of alcoholic and I understand it's coming from the Russia 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 um, the country Russia and their tradition to drink very much vodka but uh, in Israel, the, it's wine, but it's strong. It's not this light that you drink to the to the food. It's the strong wine they drink. And um, so if I started to understand this with the alcoholic and the Jewish tradition that uh, they were not so clean. They were drinking and um, how you have make some notes for me to not forget everything of what I should say. It's, a, it's about Esther, the book of Esther in the Bible. That's what Purim is about that she she could um, um, it uh, she uh, talk to her husband about this uh, what's going on that uh, uh, those uh, the Jewish people should be killed and uh, and she uh, turn it around to be so the enemies uh, was killed and 
it was I, I look it up and it was seventy five thousand killed of the enemies and that is what the Purim is about uh, if if we go to the uh, to the past but today they are saying that it's allowed to be drunk in Purim uh, because only that day uh, the Jewish uh, could be drunk like uh, I saw it in Tel Aviv that they were rolling around on on the flo on the ground yeah, on the square and they were jumping on the tables and uh, it's uh, allowed nowadays to drink so much so you pass out and it's terrible to see it and uh, and uh, it my my thinking about you wish was sinking when I saw that how they uh, uh, acting on that day and uh, it, they say it's uh, that is allowed to drink very much and uh, change the outfit a look a, a man look like a woman like that and woman like a man and these things and uh, and it uh, it is they say to me t to excuse it when I say I was shocked about it uh, that they say that is because they uh, have to know what it is to be very drunk to be doing bad things one day doing bad things so they know what it is and of course it sang over and um, it was very much puking and this is it was terrible to see and uh, the, there is uh, many you wish that be alcoholic or like my father was they I understand why he was alcoholic or my father because it was in his DNA and I I was on my way to be alcoholic also when I was young so the, it's in the DNA to be w weak for to uh, be crazy in the brain and uh, do things that you other days doesn't uh, dare to do and and say uh, these things that it took away my obstacles I I was shy and and uh, I, I I didn't talk so much but with the drinking I go crazy but uh, my I was like that I, that people couldn't see that I was drunk uh, it, in my walk that uh, didn't take my walk uh, in the brain uh, but I, I say many stupid things and I I was fighting now I was fighting instead of the school I was out I was teenager and was out of fighting and I could have been in very much trouble in that time but I I could uh, pass that time of uh, wildness and um, but uh, I th I was thinking about you is be clean and and be strict and never go drunk or like that and but it is in the Purim and um, Purim I think it uh, I saw it translated and I think it's means 
fate. Your destiny, the fate that is going from the deepest, be drunk and do stupid things, puke on the streets and these things, to be uh, uh, digging into the, the Torah and the books like that, uh, the difference between them. And so it was a new law that come after uh, after Esther and it's changed. And, uh, and I, I was thinking that this is not something that God have told them that you wish to be that uh, the, law, the new law was that they could kill the enemies. They didn't need to only defend themselves. They could go and, and kill someone. And, uh, and God, uh, that is not God's words. I have told you many times that, that God doesn't kill. People kill. And in that way to to make a new law that is okay to because they killed seventy five thousand people and uh, and that uh, they after the seventy five thousand then it's okay to kill more people so it's this purim is. And like I see it, it's a evil things going on in Purim. And I, I avoid to be into Purim. Uh, on Facebook, I, I don't block them, but I uh, put 30 days that I don't see them. On when they do bad things, I don't want to see these things in on my Facebook, but I don't block them because after a while it's going away, so they don't put picture and write about it. Uh, I only want to jump over Purim. That is so very holy for you wish or a special orthodox you wish um, and of course it's uh, is uh, important for all kind of Jewish in Israel even those that is not Jewish in Israel it's a party time so it's a uh, it's fun for the most people that don't follow God, like I do, that is uh, a party time when uh, it's like a masquerade. So they uh, they put on uh, clothes that they not normally wear, and they can look like like a, a, like in a masquerade, you know, that have no team theme. It have no theme. You can dress whatever you want to dress, and you and they can screaming out high and loudly on that day. It's uh, like hell opening in in Purim, and then uh, is also that they fasting. They they don't eat the day before and of course they be more drunk you know that you that have drinking much you know uh, it's a benefit if you want to be drunk to not eat before drinking and uh, in in my time when i was drinking i we mostly take 
something to eat like uh, that is very fat we believe that it took out the, the whole alcoholic so we didn't get hangover uh, but uh, but I find out on my own that to uh, to let it uh, be drinking uh, when I drinking then when I go to bed I I took um, headache pills. Uh, I took uh, like coffee uh, headache pills before I go to sleep. And mostly I wake up without any hangover because I was drinking. I was like my father and I was drinking very very much when I when in that time when I was drinking I think it was about five years I was drinking heavy and then I get kids and I didn't want to drink when I was pregnant and then I slowed down a little and uh, and then before I left my husband I have stopped drinking. I could drink alcoholic, but I started to exercise instead to live more healthy. When my husband was drinking and do, uh, did uh, drugs, uh, I was the opposite from him. It, I have already started to be into God without knowing God, but uh, something have changed inside me and then uh, it was too much when my uh, I heard from the doctor that my husband had HIV and then it uh, I wanted to make a suicide and then the highest priest that have I suppose I think that he have been with me the whole time but not to go in not interview with my life he want they wanted me to be educated how the world can see look like when it is the worst whatever it can be in uh, drinking yeah i didn't do drugs but I was drinking very heaven, heavenly, heavily, heavily, heavy, heavy, sorry, heavy. And no, I'm not drunk here. I only have, as always, spirits around me. And it's, they touch me. Because now I have uh, noticed that they are here. So now they start to touch me. And it's a group of people. It's a, a spirit, but it looks like people. And they are about t 10, 15 in a group that's standing before me here. And they uh, sound, they or someone have touched me now. And I, I understand that when they touch me, they also walk, walk into inside me and want to talk from inside. Because in one episode, they told us that they use my mouth to talk to you talk to the world talk to people that want to know more about heaven and uh, and I, I let them talk because I am out from to talk about Purim now and and uh, it's a uh, so uh, one spirit uh, showing me how it looked like 
And he looked like, and yeah, maybe in in the beginning of 1900, or he can be more far back, but not in like more modern time. But I think he is uh, somewhere, maybe 1700 to 1800. He have a very nice clothes, a high hat, and uh, he have a stick in his hand. And he have like striped trousers, long trousers on, and then a suit um, jacket on. And he look very nicely. And he's and now he's saying he was a director, and um, it's more like they were, were in the theater. They were a group of, that's why they are coming as a group, because they were a, a theater group that was working together. And they say that they passed away by accident, accidentally. And uh, it's, uh, they showing me, like they were on a, on um oh i know the, i don't know the word but uh, the many horses and wagon the it was before we had the cars they lived and uh, and they the horses be frightened of something and everyone that was on the wagons they uh, run out from a stipe they fall down uh, high up and down to the ground and be killed they say to me and uh, and of course people don't know who you are i telling them but uh, they say they wanted to talk about this and i understand they what they want to, uh, oh, is much more attach me now. They want to talk about the fall. Not that uh, who they were. They are talking about the fall. That uh, you can one day be up in the top success. But it will be you overdo it you be proud and you want to be better and better and better in the the way of what the world see you they are talking like that now and uh, and it now they saying this that they didn't pay attention to what they were doing in that time when they be killed it they had had success you should hear it you that need to hear it they tell me that they had success and they have got more money than expected and they and they going into party style and drinking and uh, uh, what can happen when you go with horses and uh, the horses is is uh, is to show in that direction a uh, horses vehicle and direction that you, when they show me the, this with the horse and, and wagons and they didn't pay attention. When something show up on their way and scare their horses and they were drunk so they didn't 
pay attention to it. And that was their, their way to die. Uh, they couldn't stop it because before they understood in their drunkenness that they were on the too fast, the horses go too fast. Uh, and then they have to think about why do the horse go very fast than what we normally don't don't use to do and, and before in their drunkenness they couldn't understand it first and when they start to understand it they couldn't stop the wagon they couldn't stop the horses to to run over the st steep to fall down in in deep down and, and be killed. That's the saying and that is a spirit talking to you about what you are doing. You think that you can stop it. You, you, you think that, oh, I only do bad things today and then uh, do, uh, the, and then I stop and be myself again. But ba some people are sensitive and they have these DNA things that can make them be a, a, something it's, I don't know what it is because I have snowing today and uh, it sound uh, here inside my home. I don't know if it's outside or inside my home. So I need to stop and recording as I need to say what is going on. So thank you for listening. And uh, this was my talking about Purim. And then I let those spirits in heaven tell some of you to not think that you are a super man that you or super woman that you have control over everything because you drink it away you drag it away uh, when you thought think you have all kind of controls. That was a message from them, from heaven. Thank you for listening.